today's great and tomorrow's gonna be better. That's what my dad used to say when I was a kid. Every time anybody would ask him how he was, today's great, tomorrow's gonna be better. He was lighthearted, he would joke with waiters and waitresses, he made friends everywhere he went. And then around my first year of college, he and mom had some problems and it took him down. He couldn't get his feet underneath him. And the stories he told himself over and over again were keeping him darker and darker. And then he added news, constant toxin intake of news that was happening in the world and a constant intake of conspiracy theories and end times journals. And I lost my dad. He disappeared into this puffy, sad, negative man. So about seven years ago, he had um, a sepsis attack that almost killed him. And somehow coming out of that, he decided that he was going to clean out his life, his brain. He stopped watching the news. He stopped reading the sad books. And I still remember the feeling I had the first time I heard him say, today's great, tomorrow's gonna be better. He changed his story and it changed his life. My dad passed about a month and a half ago. He was three weeks before his 89th birthday. He was on no medications. He was in no pain. He died asleep next to my mom in their bed. He had changed his life by changing his story. So I know we all have a story in mind, or two or five, that we retell all the time. We retell whenever it comes up in conversation. We retell when we make a new friend. And it's a story that kind of paints us as a victim. It's a story that makes somebody else not look very good. And even though it doesn't feel, it feels a little slimy, it's so familiar. And it's a comforting story to retell. That story is shaping our life. That story is putting those ideas continually in our mind that we're a victim, that bad things happen, that we're not worthy. So I would encourage you, Take one of those stories right now and make a vow in your mind that you will never tell that story again. You will never tell that story again because it is not something that changes your life in a way that you want to change and expand. <clears throat> so this is a lovely idea and you can say, oh, thank you, I'm gonna go change my life and not tell that story anymore. And then we all know that in five minutes, someone's gonna walk by that looks like your mother or a guy that sounds like your ex-husband and there's the trigger and we're off. We're into our own stories again. So I wanna give you something practical to think about with this. First thing is when you're triggered and your mind is just going, you need distraction. You can sit and count your breaths. Four breaths in, four breaths out. Five breaths in, five breaths out. Your mind is really a four-year-old. It just needs to be distracted by any shiny object or focusing on something else. You can sit and feel your body. What am I feeling? What am I hearing? What am I tasting? Anything that takes your mind into a different place is a really good way to kind of stop that trigger moving forward. But then how do you replace it with a better story? Because we want to put something else in in its place. Nature abhors a vacuum. So you can take one story out and there's five more to fill it. You choose what story you want to fill it with. And the best way to do that in the moment is gratitude. If you sit and start focusing on the things you're grateful for, the people you're grateful for, especially as you start adding up those people and new stories start coming to mind. And it's like, I am loved. I've just thought of 20 people that I'm really grateful for. It starts changing the stories in your mind. There's a third step because we can change those stories, but there's a reason that those initial stories stuck. What in us was broken was sad, was weak, was malnourished, that that particular story stuck in us. That's an ongoing work. That's the shadow work that we can do with a therapist, with a journal, with someone who knows what they're talking about, that can listen to us and say, I think there's a deeper thing going on here. That will truly change your life and truly change your story. Change your life by changing your story.